of all the songs in halls of lore, there echoes none more grand than Olaine's many feats of might, the pure and lady of the light. She is a knight of golden knot. She is the cure seeker, the conscience of the summer fay. She is the heart of spring, of day. when you're crowding so close. Go back to your business. Go on.
I don't care what you race. It's a tragedy whenever anyone's savage like this. Just look at the poor creature. She's been beaten to the brink of death. The Fae may be strange, but they certainly don't deserve this. It appears she was attacked with some manner of short blade. Likely a dagger, although there's no way I can be sure. People simply stood by as she called for help. No one lifted a finger. Can you imagine? It's shameful to treat another in such a way, even if she is a fae. Uh, I don't know whether we possess the knowledge to treat uh, such a wound. Frankly, I don't even know if I could save a mortal with such grievous wounds. Uh, well, you're the only one. With all the troubles we've suffered in this village, people are weary of adversity. They'd rather just ignore it. Uh, I'm going to suggest something a bit... Uh, untraditional. There's a fae named Eri. She spends her days up on the hill overlooking the village. Seek her wisdom. I would do it, but... I am a coward. That's the truth. Perhaps a fae will know how to heal a fae. If not, then we're back where we started. Bye now. mission hiding why are its gates forever closed whatever you do avoid the monks of saint odwig's perpetual they deal in lies and false tenets the light of hope will leave you in shadow welcome to saint odwig's perpetual mission I would invite you in, but the Order has been too trusting in the past. We try to learn from our mistakes. Although, one never knows what might be a test of faith. You have arrived just when I am in need of aid. So perhaps Mitharu is at work. We at St. Odwigs have worked for years to establish a presence on this hill. It's not been without its challenges. The call of the Feylands does not fall upon deaf ears, and many of our youngest don't have the will to resist. Take Brother Egan, for example. Two nights ago, Egan ventured past the walls to collect firewood and never returned. We must find him before anything happens. Mitharu be praised. His order reigns supreme. Brother Egan was last seen northeast of here, just off the road near the Fey Ruins. Please find him. Perhaps then we can welcome you into the fold with open arms. Bless you, child. Don't Crazy believe Father Dinwell when he tells you that Mitharu was male. Mitharu is a god, not a mortal. She is all of us, not some of us. Mitharu does not dwell behind the mission's walls, no. She is in every rock and every tree, every... ...bud and every storm. She is with all of us. Village friend. <laughs> times are hard, but hard times can pay if you're willing to take risks.
If you have the sword and stomach for this sort of work, we could use another strong arm among the Warsworn. Some may try to color it with fancy words, but we're warriors for hire, the best in these lands. You'll find those who have taken the oath are held in the highest respect all over Amalur. You could head straight to Shieldring Keep and pledge your sword. Might work, but a commendation from me would carry a lot of weight. To earn it, you must do something commendable. There are two brothers, scoundrels of the Red Legion, named Osgar and Medgar Krast. Bring me proof you've dealt with them. I'll pay in coin and my good word. You picked the wrong village, friend. <laughs> I am Katrin. Do you require my... Be careful out there. To go hot. What can I do for you today, stranger? I'm happy to help however I can. Take a look and let me know if... You'd like to purchase anything. I'm happy to help you. With whatever you need, I'm open to buy or... Welcome. 
What can I do for you today? Hey, stranger. I'm happy to help however I can. Yes? Can I help you? I'm happy to help you. Whatever you need, I'm open to buy or sell. Welcome. What can I do for you today, Stranger, I'm happy to help however I can. Welcome. Oof. Take a look and let me... Let me know if you'd like to purchase anything. I'm happy to help you. With whatever you need, I'm open to buy or sell. <laughs> what can I do for you? Today, stranger, I'm happy to help however I can. Take a look and let me you know if you'd like to purchase anything. <laughs> Greetings. Come in. Welcome to Goreheart. The last settlement before goodbye. <laughs> Stay indoors after sundown.
Stay indoors after sundown. what the they say about these stones is true but if it is well this is just too good to not save forever lystrom was out of town when artol was visiting now lystrom doesn't know artol and artol is older and strange she could be mistaken for a fate weaver so when lystrom came back to town here was artol the oracular i said to lystrom i hear her readings are amazing you should go <laughs> my, you should have seen it. A rooster, she said, will change into a man, and this man will become your lover. He will provide for you, and he will make you laugh, and he will make your life exciting and easier. But, and this is something you can never forget, he must never eat chicken. <laughs> and once in a while, you will need to peck at things on the ground, and every morning at the break of dawn, you'll hear a loud cry from him. <laughs>
Yes? What could a mortal vagabond need with Kazmaran, the Eternal, messenger of the Fey Folk? Speak! My time may be of the ages, but it is still precious. Wait, Father Dinwell sent you, didn't he? Old fool. His path to power was too plodding, and now he wishes to slow me down, too. I have new friends, Fey friends. They are named Finna and Arbos, and they have sworn to share their secrets with me and to gift me with true magic. In exchange, they want an ancient treasure buried in the caverns of Waterhall Down. I'll retrieve it, eventually, as soon as I, um, feel like it. <laughs> Fine, if you want to be so noble, but don't expect any of the treasure. This is my key into a powerful new future, a future full of magic and wonders. Let's go. Bye then. If we're going to press on, then I'll ask you to stay close. I have no courage to speak of. Honest. Ask Father Dinwell. Local legend says that the great Fey mage Armin the Clever retreated to these caverns to hide his treasures from mortal hands. Among them, the Selkie Vale. Goodbye now. Thank <laughs> you. 
Watch out for the wild thing.
this? A little Egan has made a friend? Hm. I have a feeling this is going to be a problem. Obviously, anyone who has ever glimpsed a Fae would know that. Unlike little Egan here, your head holds more than fantasies. The Feylands are such fertile ground for games. The inhabitants are so oafish, you can fill your pockets with hardly any effort. Are you going to give us what's rightfully ours, or do we need to start a new game? My brother and I are always ready to play. I didn't make myself clear. We came for the veil, and a veil we will have. Come, Arbos, let us negotiate. Then you outsmarted us once, stranger, but don't expect it to happen again, my brother. Farewell, <laughs> <Nella>. <laughs> 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 I... I didn't know. How could I? Before I came to Gorehart, I'd never known anyone outside my immediate family. Everything was so new, so... magical. You must think me a fool. And Father Dinwell... Come, let's return to the mission. I must ask forgiveness of so many. See you later. Nothing to see back here, just a Come, on to St. Oddwigs. Must we return to the mission? I Although all of those things are quite frightening. Perhaps it is for the best. This new world is far more dangerous than I expected, and I haven't eaten in days. See you later. Mitharu, Egan has returned. As for you, you have done as I asked, and we here at St. Odwigs are forever grateful. Consider this meager reward a donation to your cause. It is just one, to be sure.
come to protest the mission as well? The news has spread to every village. It's on every tongue. We are so close. St. Odwigs cannot resist much longer. And once it relents, all others will follow in its wake. The tome will be ours. You've acquired the ordination tome? But how? The monks of St. Odwigs keep it in their reliquary under lock and key. Father Dinwell is denying that women can be ordained as members of the Order of Mitharu, despite scripture in this book to the contrary. You have done a good thing today, my friend. You have given hope to many. Please take this gold. It is all I have, but I won't need it once I take my vow of poverty. Damn Red Legion. Do you feel nauseous? Itchy? Have you noticed any blood leaking from your eye sockets? I've been noticing the symptoms everywhere. No, this situation could not be any worse. If the Red Legion is involved, then we could all be staring death in the face. What have I done? Why ask questions when you could never understand the answers? It's clear your prowess is not with wit, but with a weapon. If you must know, something of value has been stolen. An alchemical formula that, if released, could cause untold devastation. I see its symptoms everywhere. Only my apprentice, Karth, and I knew of my work on the formula, but he's gone missing as well. I do not deserve such goodwill after what I've engineered. If disaster occurs in Odorath, it will be on my head. I'm not sure where Karth may have gone, but I knew that before he came to me, he found shelter in the ancient chambers of Agnurfar Hall, an Irathi ruin east of Gorhart. Once you've ensured Karth's safety, you must learn what's happened to my formula. When you do, destroy it. It's the only way to keep us safe. Goodbye. 